Hello guys, welcome back and I'm replying to a couple of comments from people who wonder what settings I use on my OBS studio um, to do my recording. So for my videos I use OBS studio. Now if you go into output mode simple these are the following steps that I use and then we'll also go through the advanced settings as well and show you what I use as well. So this will hopefully stop because when I first started out I kept getting loads of like stuttering, buffing. If you look back into some of my videos, my earlier ones, you'll see how much better the, the, the quality is compared to my newer videos. So have a little look and you'll see the differences. Now I hope this will help you guys out as well. So let me show you. So the simple settings on my output mode, if you go to the recording tab, that's just your recording path, so where you record your videos to. So just select a file and I just created an OBS capture card. So which is, is just a file I use, so which is that's all irrelevant. Now the recording quality, high quality, medium file size. Now the reason I use a high quality is because obviously I want high quality, we all do, and medium file size. Now I don't want massive file sizes because I'm going to be editing my videos, I'm going to be you know putting them up on YouTube and social media platforms, so I don't want my file sizes to be massive because it's just going to take ages to edit, it's going to take ages to upload, so that is perfect for me. Uh, recording format, always for me, MP4. Reason for MP4 is because every, every platform basically takes MP4. It's the most commonly known, as you guys are aware. So MP4, the only downside is, which has got a little warning tab at the bottom, so when you're recording um, with MP4 or MOV, it will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalised. So if you have a power cut, for example, and you don't finish your recording, you've lost it. But the chances of that are very slim, so MP4 is best for me, really. Now the encoder, I use my hardware, which is my AMD. And just so you know, I've got the 5700 XT graphics card. Um, if, if you've got an NVIDIA, then, then click your NVIDIA graphics card on that one. So in my advanced settings, so I change it from simple to advanced. Now type, just leave it as standard, recording path, whatever recording path that you sort of want to make for it to go to. Again, the format, like I told you, it's MP4, that's the best one for me. Now my encoder is H264 ABC encoder AMD advanced media framework. There is another option, I can't seem to do the drop down box at the minute, which is HVEC AMD or NVIDIA. Now, don't use that because when I try and put it onto sort of DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro for editing, it doesn't come out very well. So I just I've just left it on that, and I've tried the settings so much, especially because I've only just started doing this sort of thing during lockdown, and it took me ages to figure out all the best settings for me. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys as well. Now my out scale output is um, my 1080p monitor. Now I always use 1080p, and you can see that from my if you look back into my videos, 1080p 60 frames is the best for me. I have got a 4K and I can record 4K on these settings, but I just choose not to because I can't really see the benefit of it at the minute, um, especially when you, you know most people watch your, your videos on their mobile phone and you can't tell the difference, so that's what I leave it at. My preset is high quality recording. There's two other settings. But for the best for me was the high quality recorder, just leave it at that and that will get you the best best results like it has for me. Quality preset, just quality. You've got other two presets which is speed and balanced, but it's fast enough and it's balanced enough, I just want the quality. So leave it at that. Now, the IP frame and the P frame, leave it at the default setting of 18 and your keyframe interval, put it up to two. Now, if you go into the video tab, now this is your base canvas resolution, which is basically your monitor. So make sure your output, your base and your output are the same. So whatever monitor you're using, if it's a 1080p, then just pop it in there, the exact resolution you're using. Now the downscale filter, I use that one there. I can't say the name, I'm just going to embarrass myself. But sharpening scale, 36 samples, that is the best one for me. And frames per second, 60. Now, if you still are getting a little bit buffery and it's stuttering slightly your video footage, 
there is another drop there on the drop down box it's even got 59 try 59 that extra frames per second does make a difference if not you can drop it down to 48 or 30 which the most common is 30 so drop it down to 30 and you should be absolutely fine with that now I hope this helps you out let me know in the comments box and hit a like if it's helped you out as well also, if, if, if some of you out there have you know, looked at this video and said, oh, you know, I, I, I found a better setting, then again, I'm quite new to this, but this is where it's best for me, then please pop it in the comments below, and I'm more than happy to try it out. You know, we're here to help each other out, and I hope this has helped you. So again, if it's helped you, just let me know and drop it in the uh, comments box below. It'd be great to see some feedback. Thank you very much, and enjoy your recording.